Hello, this is a video about integrating using tables and in particular reduction formulas. What a reduction formula is, is if you look at any integration formula in the table, if you apply an integration formula and the formula itself has an integral within it, that's what is called a reduction formula. So we'll have to use formulas from the tables multiple times for these examples. <clears throat> So in our first example, we're going to find the indefinite integral of x cubed sine of x with respect to x. If you look at the form of this integral, you'll notice that it closely resembles from your table formula 54, which is shown on the screen. We're going to identify what our u is, what n is. All right, so first, n is equal to 3. That's the power on the x. U, which is always your quantity in terms of x, is just x itself. Which means that the derivative of u with respect to x is 1. So that means du is the same thing as dx. The two quantities are equal to each other. So literally, I can take x cubed sine of x dx, and I can now expand it using the formula. <clears throat> so... What I have here is negative u to the n, so that's what we'll start with. Negative x to the third power, cosine of u, or cosine of x, <clears throat> plus n, which is 3, integral of u to the n minus 1, so that's x to the second, and then cosine of u, which is x, and then du, which we already said is dx. <clears throat> so that's currently where I stand. So now we're happy with the minus x cubed cosine x. We will keep that. That will appear in our final answer. It's now time to look at the 3 times the integral of x squared cosine x dx. <clears throat> so we're looking at the 3 integral of x squared cosine x dx we now need to find out what formula applies to this integral, and that would be formula 55 from your table. You have u to a power, remember u is always a quantity in terms of x, and then you have a cosine, that's it. <clears throat> so now we'll identify <coughs> our n, which is 2. <clears throat> we'll identify our u, which is simply just x. The derivative of u with respect to x is 1. So du equals dx. So this will enable me to use the formula. <clears throat> so as mentioned, we're keeping the minus x cubed cosine x. That will not change. That's actually going to be in our final answer as it is. But now I have a plus 3 times whatever I get when I integrate x squared cosine x. Well, when I integrate x squared cosine x, you have u to the n, which is x to the second, <clears throat> sine of u, or sine of x, minus n, or 2, integral of u to the n minus 1, or x to the first, sine of x, dx. <clears throat> We're almost there. Last thing I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to distribute that 3 into the brackets. So I'll end up with a 3x squared sine x minus 6 times the integral x sine x dx. So now we're focusing on the 6 times the x sine x dx, the integral of that. So we now know two groupings that will be in our final answer. We now have one more integral to evaluate. <clears throat> so now time to look for the x sine x dx among our integration formulas. That would be formula 52. You have a quantity in terms of x to the first power, and then you have sine. <clears throat> so all I have to do literally here is identify what u is going to be, which is x. The derivative of u with respect to x is 1, and yes, du equals dx. <clears throat> so
So we'll keep our first two groupings as they are. That is final answer material. Then it's time to integrate <coughs> the x sine x. There's a minus 6 out front. So it looks like the integral is going to be sine x minus x cosine x. So sine x minus x cosine x. <coughs> so this means that I now have negative x cubed cosine x plus 3x squared sine x. Distributing the minus 6 gives you a minus 6 sine x. And then you will get a plus 6x cosine x. And don't forget, since this is the final answer and it's an indefinite integral, you have that constant of integration, that c. So there you have it. That is your final answer. And there are other integration methods that would also allow you to integrate x cubed sine x, but this is just how to use the reduction formulas from the integration table. <coughs> Let's do another one. Let's integrate the square root of 3 minus 5x over 2x. <coughs> Before I even begin <coughs> looking for any sort of formulas, I first want to take that 2 on the bottom and bring it out front of the integral so it becomes a half. So I'm integrating square root of 3 minus 5x over x. I'm integrating with respect to x. <clears throat> so you can look at formulas, but you'll notice formula number 19 is the winner, as it's shown on the screen. Your a, which is your constant term, is 3. <coughs> your b, which is the coefficient of the x under the radical, is negative 5 plus b, plus negative 5, so b is negative 5. <clears throat> then u in this case is x, which means du is equal to dx. <clears throat> so now I can actually apply this integration formula. This is formula number 19. <clears throat> so I have a half, and then whatever the integral is. So it's 2 square root of a plus bu, that's 3 minus 5x, <coughs> plus a, which is 3, integral of 1 over x, square root of a plus bu again, or 3 minus 5x, and then you have your dx, because remember, du is dx. <coughs> so, before I go further, though, I do want to go ahead and distribute my half into the brackets. So that'll then leave me with a half times 2, which is 1. So you're left with square root of 3 minus 5x <coughs> plus 3 over 2 integral of 1 over x square root of 3 minus 5x dx. So I like the square root of 3 minus 5x, but I do have another integral which I will have to evaluate. <clears throat> so we are now going to look at that integral that we're trying to evaluate, and we look for the format or what formula it'll go with, and it will be formula number 17. So I need to identify my u, my a, and my b. So let's do that first. <clears throat> a is going to be 3 and b is going to be negative 5, and u is going to be x, which means du equals dx. Now, 17 does have two branches to the formula. I'm using the branch where a is greater than 0 because a is 3. <clears throat> so I think we're finally ready to apply the integration formula. So I have square root of 3 minus 5x <clears throat> plus 3 halves open brackets, apply the integration formula. 1 over the square root of a, that's 1 over radical 3. Natural log, open absolute value. You have square root of a plus bu, 
which is 3 minus 5x minus square root of 3, which is a over square root of 3 minus 5x again, a, a plus b plus square root of 3. Close the absolute value. <coughs> Final answer, you can then distribute the 3 halves into the brackets. And you'll literally get square root of 3 minus 5x plus 3 over 2 radical 3. Oops. Natural log. Absolute value. And then write what's inside the natural log. The square root of 3 minus 5x minus square root of 3. And the square root of 3 minus 5x plus square root of 3. Since this is the final answer, don't forget to do that plus c at the end because it is an indefinite integral. So that is using reduction formulas from the integration formula table. Thank you for watching.